Hi, this is Suchi, and in our previous video, we were discussing about sets. So we were discussing about Python sets, how to declare them, how to access the set elements, and how to append new element, how to update the set, how to remove some element from the set, and all that. Now today we will discuss about different set operations. So in mathematics, there is the set theory and you must be aware of that. And you might be knowing that there are few set operations that we can perform on sets. So here are those operations which are allowed in Python, which we can perform in Python. First of all, there is union. So in this Venn diagram, you can see this is this diagram, diagrammatic representation of sets are called Venn diagram. So here you can see that if A and B are two sets, so the union of them will be all the elements which are present, which are existing either in A or B. So all their elements are coming together and they are called the union of A and B. So here you can see we are considering the red, red area is our interest area. When we are doing an union operation, we are taking both the elements in A and B along with the common elements. Whereas in intersection, we are only taking the common elements, which is common among, uh, which is common between these two sets. So the elements should be present in A as well as it should be present in B also. So if this is present in both A and B, this area, which is, which is marked as pink or red. So you can see this highlighted area is the area of intersection. And then for difference, in difference, the order matters. So when we say A difference B, so what will happen is whatever element is present in A, but is not present in B, that will come as a result. So here you can see the elements which, which are common between A and B, they are being they are being removed from the part. So we are taking only those elements which are present in A but not in B. And in case of symmetric difference, this is, this is the opposite of intersection. So whatever is common in A and B, that we will remove from the union of A and B. Then we will get the symmetric difference. So the element should be present either in A or in B. It should not be present in both A and B. So this is what symmetric difference is. Now we have set methods to perform all these operations. Let us see how we can perform union first. So let's, let's declare two sets. And as you know, we can declare sets with curly braces. For example, let me have 10, 20, 30. And we can also declare a set using set constructor. So let me use set constructor here. And we can send. Now let us print. So as you can see, we have the two sets defined here. One is my set one and another is my set two. And by looking at these two sets, we can see that 30 is a common element among these two sets. But in case of union, what should happen? As we said that set cannot have duplicate values. So what will happen if we do a union of these two sets? Let us look into it. Okay, we are doing an union operation, as you can see. So when we are doing union operation, what we will do is my set one. 
So in union, the order doesn't matter. We can write my set one dot union, my set two, or we can write the opposite way also, my set two dot union, my set one. Both will return the same result. Let us print. Let us see. Let me print this as well. So here you can see my set one and my set two are unchanged. My set one is still this. And after the union operation also, my set one is still unchanged and my set two is also unchanged. And the result, what is my set one U2, the union operations result is this one. Where you can see 70, 50, 90, 30, 70, 50, 90, 30, all of them are present. 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, all of them are present. But 30 is not repeated twice as set do not allow any duplicate elements. So we have all of the elements which, which were present in these two lists, but only once without any duplicates. So this is what the result of union operation is. So this is very simple. Now in case here you can see what it is what is happening when we are applying my set one dot union my set two. In that case, it is returning another set. This operation is returning another set and we are assigning it to some other variable or even we can assign it to my set one. But what if we want my set one to be updated in place? So I just want to do this. Let's say the same thing I'll copy from here. Let me add a comment here. So the same lists we are having, same sets we are having. So set one and set two we have. Now, what we want to do is, we want to update my set one with my set two. So we want this operation to be done and the result should be stored in my set one. So how we can do that? One way is doing like this. So if we run this cell, you can see the my set one was having only four elements at the beginning and my set two was having only these four elements. And after we perform the union operation and assign to my set one, you can see this has been changed. This has been updated with the result of union operation and the my set two remains unchanged. But what if we don't want to assign it? Instead, what we want to do is we want to do an in, in place operation, what is, which is we want to do something like this. So in this union operation works same as the update operation. So when we want to do an in place union operation, we can also use update instead. So here we can see that we have two sets and we want the union of both of them. So we can instead use update. We can use update instead and we can see the same effect. We can use update and we can see the same effect. Here, just the thing is in my set one, it has been updated in place. But the same result we are getting. So these are the two ways we can change in the main set itself instead of having another new set. 